Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. All my beautiful kids here, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, Cancer, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, is through the comments, Cancer, as well. If you do enjoy this uh, weekly horoscope for you, I don't know why I can't speak right now, Cancer. If you do enjoy this reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, hopefully, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe cancer because it does help me out a lot and always i'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me also remember cancer to rely on your intuition because i'm just a man reading some tarot cards put it in perspective right you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i believe my readings here my weekly horoscopes are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live cancer not mine and not these tarot cards so all that being said let's just get into your weekly horoscope now so cancer i want to see where it is you guys are currently at how it is you guys are currently feeling what is going on in y'all's journey right now let's see what's happening for my cancers <clears throat> let's see do this one so you guys have the high priestess card archangel haniel uh number two for numerology cancer so write that down to look up at a later point uh, to see how it correlates with you in this reading, as well as working with Archangel Haniel. If you are open to working with Archangels, this is the Archangel to connect with this week, because this is the one reaching out to you at this current time. So this card says right now, if you hear any talking, I do apologize, Cancer. Uh, this card says, listen to your intuition, have patience at this time, consider carefully what it is you want before acting. So you guys right now are in this week of definitely, I would say, reserved energy. Uh, this is really a sense of where... I feel like you guys are wanting to recluse a little bit. I know for the high priest, like you guys got the high priestess card, not the hermit card, but I do just get the sense of like reclusion, uh, wanting to like wait something out because uh, there's something that you have like a gut feeling about or something that you have a feeling about right now that you kind of perhaps want to wait the results of to see if you are right about a situation, to see if your suspicions, your gut instinct, your intuition was onto something or not, right? So let's get a little bit more detail. Why are you guys at this uh, energy of being on um, the high priestess? You guys had the Wheel of Fortune come out the two of swords and the three of pentacles coming out so let's break this down for you cancer uh we have let me just show you these cards properly well as proper as i'm gonna do it right now honey uh so yeah with this you guys are definitely at a crossroads in your life uh definitely with this three of pentacles in the reverse normally when this card's in the upright cancer this is an energy of collaboration um, usually you could, this could be an energy of, um, you know, if you guys put in a job, like if you guys recently put a job app application in somewhere, right, that you really want, because notice in the artwork of this card, there's someone standing above, which signifies like someone being on a pedestal, uh, or seeing someone in a highlight, right? Seeing a situation, a thing in a highlight that you want to work with, that you want to connect with, that you want to collaborate with, whatever way that collaboration looks like to you. Uh, and this Wheel of Fortune card uh, coming in here. Now, because these two, are, like, because the Three of Pentacles in the, is in the reverse, when it's paired with this Wheel of Fortune, it does definitely feel like, um, like whatever, whatever insight that you hear from the situation, depending on how it pans out, um, it does feel like your life could just greatly alter depending on how this Wheel of Fortune uh, turns for you, right? Because of this Two of Swords, uh, energy this not only signifies being at a crossroads right but is also similar to the theme of what i was implying with the high priestess card cancer or where i feel like you guys are a little bit more recluse a little bit more guarded more closed off uh definitely get the sense of something putting you in this state right maybe you're trying to protect your emotions uh maybe you're feeling extremely vulnerable right now and this is like your defense mechanism 
is something that I'm just getting just because I see you caring about the situation a lot. So it's one of those things that like outwardly, you're just like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll be okay if they don't want this. If, they, if this job doesn't accept me, if this class, if the school doesn't accept me, I'll be okay, right? If this person doesn't text me back, right? And I have to, you know, whatever. You tell yourself that verbally, but inside it's like a different story is what I'm suggesting, right? Or not suggesting, well, I am suggesting it, honey. Uh, but uh, I do feel that's what's going on internally like i feel like what's going on what what you're presenting externally cancer is a completely different uh storyline compared to what you're actually internally feeling so let's see a little bit more <sighs> we have the chariot card with the eight of swords as well as the four of wands so Cancers, you guys definitely did take an action towards this already. With this chariot card, I see you guys, you shot your shot with something, essentially, right? Because the chariot card represents fast forward movement. Um, this eight of swords, though, coming in with this four of wands, whatever shot you shot, whatever shot you shot. Because here's the thing, again, like, very much so using that analogy of like a school or thing that you apply to cancer this four of wands signifies to me that you like you can't see your future in any other way that you are so convinced that you're telling yourself well this sounds manipulative that you yourself are only can see your life playing it out in a certain way where it's like you qualify for that job this person is in your life you end up going into that school right because the four of wands is the card the 11 11 portal where you feel like this is just it just feels like this is part of your you feel as if something's part of your storyline and whatever you shot your shot at that you really are just at this, this is crossroads with again like really again like it does like it feels like you're putting all your eggs in a basket and you're just not quite sure what to do um really at this point i feel it does feel like it's a little bit out of your hands with this eight of swords or you feel like it's out of your hands rather because the eight of swords is usually if you look at the meaning of the card cancer it's a card of illusions like you feeling like you're stuck or trapped in a situation uh so it does feel like right now you shot your shot whatever it was and now you're just at this weight you're playing like this waiting game of being like all right well what's gonna happen next right is anything is gonna happen next right you're just standing at this crossroads just waiting for some type of result waiting to hear something out right so let's see a little bit more yeah, there's something that you don't want to let go of, Cancer. We have these two cards in the reverse, the Death card as well as these Six of Swords. I'm going to hold them to you upright just so you can see the artwork of them. Uh, with the Death card coming in, I mean, normally, I feel like the Death card is pretty self-explanatory, honey. It's not someone literally dying, but it's like the closure of a cycle. Six of Swords, you look at the artwork of it. Um... And also just the meaning of the card itself is a card of moving on, putting distance between you and a situation. Because these are inverted for you, Cancer, there's, this is how you're feeling. You don't want to let this go. Like, I don't feel like, feels like you are just standing at this crossroads, not budging until it goes your way or until like whatever the ball drops would have you like you don't want to resist this at all. You don't want to move on from it. The moon card coming in the reverse for you. I want to pull one more for this. The strength card. Something catches you off guard, Cancer. And the eight of pentacles. <sighs> hmm. So with the moon card being in the reverse, something's revealing itself to you, right? Uh, the strength card comes in as a sense of shadow work. Uh, as well with the eight of pentacles coming in here where it's like... I do get the sense that you're going to get closure to this situation, Cancer, honestly. Because um, with this Eight of Pentacles, there is this sense of learning. Something's going on that you're learning about. Um, something does end up being revealed. But I just don't know if it's going to be the result that a lot of you guys are wanting. You know, that's just like a gut instinct thing, uh, it's really. And just how the cards are playing out, Cancer. It's just like... Because with the Eight of Pentacles, you end up receiving some type of intel. You end up learning something, retaining something that is revealed. Um, 
but with that strength card coming in that's as i said it's like a card of shadow work uh where you kind of have to uh it just like something just like triggers you something bothers you to a point where you're just in the state of queen of pentacles yeah I feel like it's a little bit of a solo energy here. I feel like a lot of this is giving you foreshadowing of your path kind of shifting in a sense, but it's interesting. It's interesting, Cancer. So now let's just see. Uh, you know what? We're gonna just, we pulled a lot of cards. We got into a really heavy uh, with that first spur, don't you think, Cancer? Let's just see what are the good things coming to you now. <laughs> Notice how I was talking about with the Six of Swords from before, Cancer? Being in the reverse with that Death card in the reverse for you. Uh, this is like the Six of Air is the Six of Swords, and it actually shows you in this card as well. So notice, remembering I said things are looking up, well, the good things coming to you rather, but the card itself says rather, Cancer, that things are looking up in the end of a difficult situation uh, and taking a trip. So Cancer, really this is confirming um i know i was saying it's like oh yeah we're gonna just put an end to this spread here and like move on to the good things but it seems like this is a drop like the good things that happen is like it confirms me as i was saying before it basically cancer that you do end up getting closure in this situation but i do feel like you're it's like a, a shift of an alignment right now obviously keep in mind cancer this is a general reading so it's just like you know it's going to be impossible for everyone's going to path to pan out in the same way um but i do see some type of closure happening in this situation that we were talking about before cancer so let's pull let's get a little bit more insight on this let's see what it is like yeah we have things looking up for you yeah cancer so we have here the and this card wanted to come out as well this is crazy cancer eight of pentacles coming in this is the extra card that i just mumbled to myself wanted to come out as well because it was flipping out in the deck i was like okay and that's why i made this face it's like okay so <laughs> uh spirit says we're not done with the spread honey uh two of pentacles in the reverse queen of swords in the reverse page of wands in the reverse now i always say cancer this is my fresh start card when it's in the upright but when this is inverted this is almost like a flame being put out right and you see when you think of, like i'm being shown like a candle and like you just like wet your fingers and you just put out a flame where it's just like no longer there anymore queen of swords comes in in the reverse normally in the upright this is a card of like good boundaries and what have you the queen of swords in the reverse though this is a car heavy this is like one of those energies of being like Oh, I'm fine being by myself. I'm fine, you know, you know, I feel like we all have that friend where it's just like, oh, I'm okay being single. I'm okay being single. And like, as they're saying it, there's like a tear running down their eye. And like every single time on Valentine's Day, they always are doing some type of dramatic post, right? Um, I do just get, yeah, two, um, with the two pentacles in the reverse as well. It's, this is like a, you know, usually you're carrying a lot and managing a lot. Uh, to, with it in the reverse it's just like the sense of you drop the plates right all those plates are dropped as like a server and it no longer is there anymore and noticing with this eight of pentacles i really do just get this sense cancer that a lot of you guys are just going to be transitioning into a new way if you guys were you you may have your heart set on like a specific job or a specific college or something like that but i do see spirit having other plans for you um, I do see you guys at the very, because again, Eight of Pentacles is following you in the sense of like learning and just like, it's almost like you learned something just kind of like gives you perspective and just like, oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of you cancers, you guys are letting go of a lot of energies, like old energies that you've been clinging on to. Pulled some extra clarifiers because I want some more on this Eight of Pentacles. And you have the Three of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse for you, Cancer. So this is very much so, again, this sense of something that you took charge at personally, right? As the King of Wands, this is like a card of like very much so uh, pro being proactive, very much so taking charge in a situation. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, when it's in uh, the upright, it's you planting your seeds, tending to your crops, right, Cancer? So when it's inverted, imagine you just like de-rooting, like ripping out the ground, ripping out those seeds and just like something 
that you invested in energy into is no longer there. Like you're moving, you're moving gardens essentially. With the three of cups here, this signifies to me other energy, like talking about another energy, um, other energies involved in a situation. So it does feel like you guys are picking up camp and moving on from a situation. Mm. Hopefully, this guy gives you some closure, Cancer. I know this is not the uh, lightest of readings, even with your good things coming in here. Hermit card coming in. Uh, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Really, I want you, Cancer, at this time, because I really do get this sense that there's this strong urge from you to just like recluse and just close yourself off. Eight of Wands in the reverse has me showing to me that you guys are not feeling very good about yourself. Um, you guys kind of want to just call it quits. Uh, Ace of Swords coming in the reverse as well. Like you, this is very much so like an energy where it's just like someone messes up or they feel like they messed up and then now they're just like hitting their head, calling themselves stupid. I and mean, you're not stupid, Cancer. Uh, giving yourself a chance on something, uh, holding out on something, even if it no longer is something that's going to be part of your path anymore and you just accepting that. Um, you shouldn't be ashamed of that at all. You should be proud of yourself for... Uh, sticking with something at the very least and uh, you know don't feel bad about being human for like that's really the, the situation cancer is even if you um don't have something panning out in the way that you were hoping for anticipating for i know it's such a corny thing to say and it's just kind of like yeah whatever girl but i do see this sense of like while this closure may hurt right now and be a tough pill to swallow I do get the sense that it's very short, like short lasting. And I say this not because I'm just saying fluff or whatever, Cancer, but I say this just because of how these cards are following you, right? With that Six of Swords, with that Eight of Pentacles. Like, this is a very much so a situation and an energy that's speaking in the now, that's happening in the now. And I just get the sense that um, you, the next part of your story. Uh, is coming right so when you think about it when you're reading a book what happens when you end chapter two immediately in that same effect in that same cause you begin chapter three right so there's not really much of a waiting period because the only way that chapter two ends or the only way chapter three begins is by chapter two ending right you can't get ahead uh you can't skip anything you can't miss anything right so now cancers let's see what's going on in y'all's uh love and romance situation right now and i want no not love love in social situations rather because as i was gonna say cancer we have more than just romantic relationships in our life we have family friends co-workers colleagues whatever right let's see what's in the works for you guys this week cancer let's see this card came out Five of Wands. Cancer. <laughs> I'm trying my best to like have it be like a lightning thing, but a lightning mood of a reading, but it feels like a, this is all we're going to be addressing this week, Cancer. Uh, this card says competing goals, bothersome details, and conflict with others. So there's conflict in your social life in some way. I have a suspicion that it's with your general portion just because of how I was speaking in terms of a person. Um, yeah. So the clarifiers I got, <laughs> Cancer, uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of, is this the Page of Wands? No, Six of Wands in the reverse. So Six of Wands in the reverse, there's something, it, yeah, this is very much so bittersweet energy, Cancer. Uh, Six of Wands in the reverse, normally when it's in the upright, this is a card of victory, spotlight, being noticed when it's in the reverse. It's quite literally the opposite, right? And not that you feel like you took an L on something. You feel like you're not being noticed or appreciated. Um, and then it's forcing you to move on to bigger and better waters. But notice I'm saying bigger and better waters, right? Because this is just eight of cups, right? You have to kind of just tell yourself and be like, oh, wow, this is good. But there's something better out there for you. Even if you right now in the can't see it in the foreseeable future, right? Your job isn't to figure out like to see what your future is going to look like in a year and what have you. Your job is just to go from point A to point B, right? Putting in that trust in yourself and knowing that like things are going to work out for you. Um, Ace of Pentacles comes in as that confirmation where it's just like quite literally like your message message is just softened in the sense of where it's like the conflict that you have with someone else really just brings forward um, 
It finally almost gives you the sense of release and just allowing you, Cancer, to like fully tap into yourself more. It's like now that you finally had closure on this situation, it's giving you like almost like permission from yourself even to just move on and to continue on the, with the rest of your life. So now let's see, uh, Cancer, what's going on for your financial and work situation and finances. I did say finance. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, really good card to have, right? A happy family life, financial security, and finding the magic in little things in life, right? So it's looking really good for you, Cancer, in terms of your finances. Ten of Pentacles is really one of the best cards you want when you're talking about manifesting. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups for you. Uh, the uh, Six of Wands following you. And the just, hmm, all right. So let me just show you these cards, not Cancer. We have the Justice card in reverse for you. Uh, we have the Six of Wands. I always like to point it out too, just because I'm a Libra. I'm just like, oh, Libra card. I don't ever do it for any of the other Zodiacs, really. But <laughs> um, Six of Wands coming in for you. This is in the upright, though, actually. I say this because when I was picking them up, like I just mixed them up. Uh, Six of Wands with the Seven of Cups coming in with the Nine of Wands coming in for you. So definitely I see in terms of your career, um, Cancer, this is painting out a situation of definitely choices, but I do feel like you guys kind of have to make a choice, right? I feel like that's your biggest issue in terms of your careers. Like you guys need to make a choice and committing to a choice. Um, and really putting all your energy into it. With this Justice card in the reverse, this is showing to me what's in balance with you. Um, Seven of Cups comes in as a card of indecision, right? Nine of Wands is like this indecision. Maybe you feel like you wouldn't be up to the plate, be able to handle a situation, what have you. But with the Six of Wands, it comes to me as like a sense of success. But like, really, I feel like the biggest issue for you, Cancer, will just be the need to make a decision and just not be afraid of commitment on any any decision that you make and doubting yourself right give me as i hit my tripod get out of your head cancer but yeah that's the reading that i have for you this week cancer i hope you found some cards that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope i'm sorry this wasn't as uh, light of a reading as i like to have my readings to be right but you know y'all know if you're uh if you've been to my channel before like i don't i feel like it's me just doing a disservice for me to just tell you a bunch of fluff right you don't need a tarot reader to just make you feel like tell you a bunch of feel good things you can just ask siri to tell you a bunch of good feel good things right but you guys have this i hope this brings you a sense of peace a sense of closure for allowing yourself to just move on to a new direction don't stay in this hermiting energy for too long uh cancer because i do get the, i kept on seeing the hermit and it did come out for you right i know it's very bittersweet energy but remember with that bitterness does come the sweetness right so i love you so much cancer i hope you found some cards that resonate if you did let me know in the comments be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and then also cancer i do weekly zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs not just yours so if you have a friend that's into readings or into their zodiac send them one send them my video honey and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well i love you so much cancer